DARPA selects performers to build and test unmanned underwater vehicles manned to ray. DARPA has awarded Phase 2 contracts to continue the manned to ray program that began in 2020. The effort seeks to demonstrate innovative technologies allowing payload capable autonomous unmanned underwater vehicles, UUFs, to operate on long duration, long range missions in ocean environments. The two prime contractors, Northrop Grumman Systems Corporation and Martin Defense Group, are each developing unique full scale demonstration vehicles. The Manta Ray program seeks to develop UUFs that operate for extended durations without the need for on site human logistics support or maintenance. In phase one of the program, performers designed and conducted preliminary testing on novel approaches in energy management, UUF reliability, biofouling and corrosion control, navigation, and undersea obstacle avoidance, among other areas that directly enable long endurance missions. DARPA's Manta Ray program has made significant breakthroughs toward enabling payload-capable autonomous underwater vehicles to operate independently of crewed vessels or support infrastructure, stated CDR Kyle Werner, Manta Ray's program manager. By investing in diverse solutions, DARPA strengthens our ability to transition innovative undersea technologies to our national security partners. Manta Ray is uniquely positioning itself to simultaneously introduce a new class of underwater vehicle while contributing key component technologies to other vital undersea programs. The Manta Ray program concluded Phase 1 with critical design reviews that demonstrated design maturity and readiness for advancement to Phase 2. The selected performers will now work on subsystem testing followed by fabrication and in-water demonstrations of full-scale integrated vehicles. A video published by DARPA illustrates how the UUF might operate, gliding just a few feet off the ocean floor. At one point in the video, the vehicle deploys a smaller sensor-like payload that leaves the UUF for several moments, begins to emit a signal and then returns to the manta ray. The Northrop Grumman and Martin Defense Group to advance to the second phase of its Manta Ray Unmanned Undersea Vehicle Program. The first phase of Manta Ray began in 2020 and focused on preliminary testing approaches for vehicle energy management, reliability, navigation and obstacle avoidance, among other things. The Manta Ray Program, according to DARPA's statement, the selected performers the Northrop Grumman and Martin Defense Group will now work on subsystem testing followed by fabrication, water demonstrations with full-scale integration. Manta Ray is one of several unmanned maritime systems moving through the Pentagon's research agencies that will likely end up in the Navy's fleet. The Sea Service recently announced it started construction on a California-based facility that will house many of these systems as well as the testing activities they undergo. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.